<laughs> my husband likes dicks, pricks, cocks, dongs. <laughs> Balls. <laughs> and I'm the last idiot on earth to know it. Well, the sad thing is he was the next to last person. And I'm sure there are a few people in Peoria who don't know yet. Oh, I feel so much better now. You're really ready to move on from acting. Definitely. You okay? My husband dumped me for a guy. My mom died and my dad's barely left the house since. I think I'm remarkably upbeat, considering. You need to get laid. <laughs> yes. I've only been separated for a month. But how long has it been since you had sex? A year? 13 months and five days. My birthday. Got it. Well, I'll help you find someone really hot. <laughs> or at least straight and seducible. Straight, that's the baseline now, straight. <laughs> Are you gonna come visit me when I move to Florida? Ugh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh my gosh. Don't knock everything down. I'm getting Jesus. a little excited here. Dad? You still have that shirt? Uh -huh. You know your mom gave this to me. Right before she died. Yeah, well, there's more tomato sauce than cotton. Let's eat. It's on the table. Have you been out at all? I went to the supermarket yesterday. It's not what I meant, Dad. Have you and Kevin agreed on terms of the divorce? <laughs> not quite. When do you start the new job? Two weeks. Nervous? No. Can I make a pot of coffee? Sure. No! What the hell, Dad? That's your mother. You said you were going to scatter them at the Jersey Shore. She hated that TV show. <laughs> well, she doesn't have to watch it anymore, does she? Did you bring any of Kevin's cookies? He still won't give me the recipe. Oh, uh, your mom gave it to him. They were close. Yeah, well, I should at least get it in the divorce. You don't bake. <laughs> hmm. Well, then? Dad, you need to scatter the ashes. I will. Dad, her shawl is still on her chair in the living room. Florida. 
she used to talk about moving there someday. That was my idea to avoid state taxes. Come with me. What? Drive to Florida with me. I could use another driver and you could use to get out of here for a while. We can scatter the ashes on a beach. I can't. You can. Think of it as a vacation, like the old days, you and me. You can bring your video camera. <laughs> Mom always wanted to see Savannah. I won't go. What about that guy? The one on the corner in the blue shirt. It's kind of cute. Stop, I'm not interested. Oh shit, you're just depressed and you need to get laid. Well, divorce is depressing. And I don't know what to do about my dad. He won't come with me. What about that one over there? <gasps> Seriously. Hmm? Hmm? Okay, yeah, he is kind of cute. Did you talk to Kevin yet? Yeah. We were having a nice conversation, and then when I asked him about my mom's cookie recipe, he absolutely refused. Well, that's how it starts. That's why you need a good divorce attorney. For cookies, Megan? <laughs> Any lawyer's gonna laugh me out of his office. Well, first thing we do, let's kill all the lawyers. <laughs> you know what you should do? You need to call my friend Sam. This kind of thing is right up his alley. I'm serious. Have you handled many divorces? Oh yeah, at least 1,100. I'm giving an exact number. Uh, this is, oh, this is case 1,451. Wow. Yeah, I should be a lot wealthier. <laughs> well, let's take a moment to meditate as we ask for divine guidance, peace, in our forthcoming endeavors. Yes, definitely. Peace and guidance. All righty then. Let's rip his balls off. <sighs> oh, I I'd like to keep it as amicable as possible. Well, I got a phone call from his lawyer. And? He says he won't give you the recipe unless you give him some of the ashes. What a fucker. Sorry. It's OK. Jennifer Giraldi, please leave a message after the beep. Thanks. Jenny, it's Dad. I'll go to Florida with you. Just tell me when you're leaving. Dad, are you ready? Ugh, oh, I know. No self-respecting thief. Let's steal a TV from under the American flag. <laughs> oh. What's up? Gotta get your mother.
Good morning, my dear. We will arrive at your destination of 2475 Breezeway Boulevard in St. Petersburg, Florida in 17 hours and 50 minutes. Thanks, Joe. Sure, but that estimate is drive time only and doesn't include time lost for essential activities such as eating, sleeping, or arguing about your relationship with your mother. Is he always like this? Can he see us? It's a demo model that one of Megan's clients developed. I can't imagine ever going back to a simpler one. My dad is currently 0.9575. D-A-A-D, destinations achieved plus attractive detours, expressed as a ratio to total trips. One would be perfect, but Joe is damn good. Joe. What, Dan? What are your maps? I don't have any. How is that possible? I've got Joe and I've got a smartphone with a map app. I'm getting my maps. traffic, we can take the turnpike south up there to the right. By the way, traffic this morning is expected to be clear. It's good to get out, isn't it, Dan? Did you say goodbye to Kevin this morning? I said goodbye to Kevin when I caught him in bed with another guy. Ooh. I'm gonna miss his cookies. Mom's cookies. If you speed up by three miles per hour, you can take the parkway south instead of the turnpike. We can catch the 345 ferry. I prefer the Delaware Memorial Bridge. Uh, take the bridge. No, it's a, that's a terrific metaphor. I think... Dad, please. I'll stop at the next rest area and we can get some lunch, okay? Next area is in 10.2 miles. I used to have a client right off exit 5 over here. There's a diner nearby. Can't we just go there? Dad, I don't know. You'll love it. The food is great. Oh, my tight ratio is going to take a hit on this. Tight? Time travel to eat. It's one of his best metrics. Cross the street to the right lane and make the next right. When's the last time you were here? Seems like just yesterday. Joe, where's the nearest diner? Well, make the next legal U-turn. And Dan, think about your tendency to overcomplicate things. When's the last time you went out other than to the supermarket? I've never been social. You know I like numbers more than people. Have you ever thought about joining a club? Maybe try online dating? Jennifer, stop. I can take care of myself. I know, I'm just worried is all. You're still young. Not really. Well, you're not old. Whatever. Jen, I wanted to tell you something about your mother's ashes. They're not... What? Oh, shit, did they give you the wrong ashes? No, nothing like that, it's just... I just gave some of them away. To Kevin, Dad? No. Remember Mary Lou Williams? She asked if she could have some of the ashes. I said, OK. What did she do with them? She sprinkled them on the roses. That's sweet. And they all died. Want to drive for a while? Maybe later. It's a shame things didn't work out with Kevin. Yup. He's a nice guy. Your mom and I both always knew he was homosexual. We say gay these days, Dad. So it's like the African-American Edward thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The night of the wedding, your mother, she says to me, hey, Kevin, he's such a nice boy. But he's never going to make our Jenny happy. I got it. Okay, Dad, I'm the only person in the entire world who didn't see that he's gay. I got it. He likes cock. Language, please. Sorry, Dad. 
How much longer till Washington? We should hit the northern tip of the Beltway in about two hours. Why? Just hoping to miss rush hour. No such luck. We'd have to get there at like three in the morning to miss traffic, I think. Um, yeah, traffic on the Beltway? Yeah, they move slower than a, than a bill through Congress. I'll do my best to avoid the gridlock that, well, DC's known for. Thanks, Joe. It says Tom McKinnon, do you have to take it? Swipe it. Swipe it. Swipe it. Swipe it. Hey, Tom! Jennifer, I just wanted to check in and be sure you're on your way to join us in sunny Florida. Speeding south on Route 95 as we speak. You'll be here for the fundraiser next week, right? Definitely. Looking forward to working with my new assistant director. I am too, Tom. Thanks for calling. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Uh, can you just put it in my purse? Ah, uh, welcome to Delaware. I still remember your fifth grade project. You were so cute, cutting out the state from that map and putting it on the cover of your report. I should have picked a square state like North Dakota. I never knew why you picked Delaware. Um, this might be a good time to address those unresolved issues you have with this tiny state. All I really remember is that Mom kept calling to say she'd be home soon to help me write it. But she wasn't. Yes, she was. No, Dad, she wasn't. Uh, sure she wanted to be. Not as much as she wanted to sell her books. It's not easy being a best-selling author. You can write the best books in the world, but... You still gotta get people to buy them. About as easy as getting her to come to one of my plays, I guess, then, huh? Hmm, and how does that make you feel? I was even jealous of the people that got to interview her. Grace, you don't mind if I call you Grace, do you? Of course not. I'm Barbara. I know, dear, your editor told me. Not now, dear. You're a real hero of mine. Is it true you wrote a column for the same weekly newspaper as me? For many years, yes. Wow. So, um, where did you get the idea for A Cook's Tales, combining short stories and cooking? Well, I used to tell stories to my daughter while I was cooking, keep her entertained. Writing them down, it just seemed like the next step. Hi, sweetie, what's your name? I'm Jennifer. Do you want to be a writer like your mom, dear? No. I want to be an actor. Jennifer, please wait with your father while I get done with this nice lady. I loved the book. Pull over, pull over, pull over! Dad? Jennifer, this is Sue. She's gotta pick up her son at the preschool and it closes in 20 minutes. Sue, this is my daughter Jennifer. She's getting divorced because she just found out her husband's gay. Dad! Will you stop calling me that? You know who I am. Nice to meet you both. I really appreciate your help. Climb on in. Is there room? Sure. <laughs> Hello. I haven't finalized the adoption, and if I leave him unattended... Well, that could jeopardize the final approval. Um, go to the next exit and bear right at the fork in the road. He's good. <laughs> You guys are a lifesaver. No problem, glad we could help. Well, that wasn't bad, like 10 minutes out of the way. You know, it would have been only eight minutes if you would listen to me. Do you have control issues, Dan? 
I used to never eat like this, but since I've been on my own, I cannot stop. <laughs> Perhaps it's a replacement for sex. Joe. We should probably find a motel. Two miles ahead. Jen? I'm rusty. <laughs> For. I got this over a year ago, and I've only used it a few times. No, it's really like one of our trips when I was a kid. Check it out. Okay, so you've got self-timer, which is phenomenal. I don't think your old one had that. USB, red eye, flash level. And if you go here, look, something called zebra. I never figured out what that meant, so do that. And then you can film in black and white, sepia. In 20 feet, turn left. In 40 feet, turn left. In 40 feet, turn left. Joe, cut it out. Do you need me to reboot you? Oops, sorry, folks. Yeah, that won't happen again. That's yours? You want me to get it? Yeah. Swipe it. Hi, Jenny. Hey, lady. The house Route 95. Did you meet any fuckable guys yet? Hey, Megan, stop. I'm with my dad, and he's got you on speakerphone. Hi, Megan. Hi, Mr. G. I'm sure your dad would agree with me about you getting banged, right? Well, no, she just started. <laughs> Megan, I told you, I'm not ready for that yet. Uh-huh, you told me. I totally believe you. OK, goodbye, Megan. Bye. What about you, Dan? Are you ready to get banged? <laughs> oh, I love this song. What do you think? Definitely. Stairs. Really, Dad? So why don't you tell him that and ask for the recipe, and I'll learn how to bake. What does America mean to you? History, war, all different types of food. Can I ask you what America means? Yeah, sorry, not today. Oh, there's fireworks. Uh, pull over. No, I guess not. I love that the sign gives us choices between Atlanta, North Carolina, and Miami. Right? Houston, Juarez, Machu Picchu. Hey, Joe, are there any good alternatives to Route 95? Something maybe a little more scenic? Interstate 40 East angles south toward the coast. It ends in Wilmington, North Carolina, and connects there to Route 17 South, which is quite near the Atlantic Ocean. Perfect. Thanks again, Dad, for paying off my student loans. You could have used the money to retire. I'm glad something good came from the insurance settlement. I still don't understand your new job. I'm going to be the assistant director of a regional theater in St. Petersburg. I know that's your title. But what is it you're going to do? I'll help choose the place. Some new, some touring out of New York. Work on fundraising. Increasing the audience. All sorts of things. Is that good? <laughs> yeah, Dad. It's very good. So, no more acting? All that preparation, auditions. I guess I just don't understand why you can get an MBA if you're tired of acting. 
I wanted to come at theater from a different angle, Dad, okay? And this job gives me that chance. When you were a kid, I was always so proud because I thought you were like me. You never told me that. Oh, uh, sure I did. No, you didn't. Well, now I think you're like your mom. No. Oh. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. You're creative like she was, I'm not. had a baby after me. I am we tried, but it wasn't as easy as we expected. Did she have trouble getting pregnant again? We had a baby before you. Still born. Boy. Mom never told me that. And then she had a miscarriage after. <sighs> she hated to talk about it. Why? I think it made her feel like a failure. Dad, I'm, I'm sorry that you may miss out on being a grandfather. Did you and Kevin talk about having kids? By the time I was ready to try, he was ready to go. You don't owe me grandchildren, Jenny. I could adopt as a single mom, maybe, in a few years. You could indeed. Recalculating. Where are we? Recalculating. I don't know. It's been recalculating for 15 minutes. Recalculating. Okay, yeah, Joe, I know, but why? Where are we? Recal recal cal 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 calculating. Okay, guys, I think we could all use a break. I could drive a few more hours. We can keep going if you want. Your way, absolutely. Reminds me of summer vacations when you were a kid. I always wondered when Mom would show up. That isn't fair. It's the truth. You said yesterday she'd be here tomorrow. I know, honey. That's today. You're too smart for me. So, when is she coming? I don't know, honey. It's not the way it was. Jenny. <laughs> I brought the manuscript with me. Do you know how to blow bubbles, Mommy? No, honey. Daddy tried to teach me, but I can't. Why don't you show what you're doing, huh? Listen, I love Mom, but work was most important to her, and it always came first. She loved you very much. Writing always seemed to come so easily to Mom. Ten by Grace took her five years to write. Her other books each took her a couple of years apiece. I hate that her sales went up after she died. I know. I remember that column she used to write for the local weekly. Nearly News. <laughs> yeah, right. Nearly News. 
She wrote that every week for 27 years. Why didn't she stop once her books were successful? Loyalty. Mark McGinnis, the editor, paid her. And nobody else would even look at her writing. And... And... And there's something else going on between them. How did I not know that? Are you sure? You were just a kid. I walked in on him. I had no idea. Dad, how could she? Why? A million reasons. No reason. But you didn't leave? No. How can you be so calm? It was a long time ago. I'm sorry, Dad. Thanks. You know what would be great right now? A latte with cinnamon and whipped cream. <laughs> you think we're gonna find something like that on this road? For a latte, turn left at 0.6 miles. I don't know. Listen to Joe. You are approaching your destination on the left. They walked in. Good looking man, dark, followed by a gorgeous brunette. Tall, penetrating eyes. Everything about her said trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm a writer. I like to practice my narrational skills. Ah. Uh, I'm Dan. Would we have read anything that you've written? Uh, sorry, no, I'm not published as yet. Ah, oh, well. But it doesn't stop me from trying. No, you have to keep trying. My mom was a writer. Her first book was a collection of short stories called Ten by Grace, but she wasn't successful until. Whoa. You're Grace Giraldi's daughter? I am. Oh, my God. A Cook's Tales is my favorite book. <sighs> she was phenomenal. Uh, see that? I drove 75 miles to a reading in a bookstore to see her. She passed too soon. We all lost an awful lot, and we lost her. Thanks, Joe. Sorry. Listen. Uh, I'm so happy to meet you both. Uh, can I get you something? Coffee, dessert? Thank you, yes. Uh, a small coffee with milk for me, please. Certainly. Could you get me a latte with whipped cream and cinnamon? You must think me a provincial, sir. <laughs> Indeed, I can. Hey, Uncle Joe, the cookies are ready. Thank you you. want to try one? Cookies? Red velvet chocolate chip. I am in heaven. Ha! Can I buy the whole batch? Really? Not for nothing, pal, but I have never seen anybody react to cookies in this manner in this place. <laughs> but you're indeed welcome. Give me a paper bag. Check out the Tampa Bay Rays. 
He was the designated hitter in that league. So? It's not real baseball. It's ridiculous. I'm a traditionalist. They've been better than the Mets for years. Plus, we can check out the Buccaneers. Football should be played in miserable weather. that knocking? Yeah. My mechanic told me he fixed that. That is so annoying. Get out! Are you okay? Did you hit your head? I'm okay. That night, when I got the call, my worst fears, I always worried when she went on those book tours. I should have been with her. She couldn't have done anything. She was in her car. Alone. I can smell that that thing's not driving anywhere today. I know. See, there's this alligator. If you could give us any kind of help, we'd really appreciate it. I can get one of my guys to tow it. Your guys? I run an auto repair shop, just a couple miles from here. Oh, that's, that's great. Yeah, uh, what should I do with the keys? Leave them under the seat. I can drive you all to a motel if you'd like. Rates aren't bad this time of year. Yes, thank you. We appreciate it. That's good. Oh, Dad. Thank you so much. I don't know how to repay you. Call me tomorrow. Will Jackson's garage? I thought it was yours. Oh, it is. That's my ex's name. I started the place when we were still married. Thank you. You forgot your coffee. Oh, jeez. Thank you so much. You hungry? Starving. Shower, but I'm just gonna have to put on the same dirty clothes. I'm gonna try to get them, our bags. How? Oh. It's not that far, Dad. We can totally walk. Maybe it's a cell phone number. I can see my car. I just, I want my damn clothes. Oh, Dad, this is kind of loose. Maybe I could jimmy it. I don't think that's a good idea. I'm not gonna steal anything. I don't know, Jenny. Dad, I did this like a hundred times in my apartment in New York. Stop right there or I'll shoot. What the heck are you doing? I want clean clothes. Good Lord, girl. You could have just walked next door and knocked. I would have let you in. I'm, Annie, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was your house. Car wash and dry cleaners are mine too. 
in case you were thinking of breaking into one of them. I told her it wasn't a good idea. Mm. You run them all by yourself? That's my partner. Hi. I'm Darlene. Why don't you folks come over for some sweet tea? Then I'll give you all a ride back to the motel. Oh, we, we don't want to put you out. What if I put a shot of vodka in that sweet tea? <laughs> <laughs> I know I smell, and I look like shit, but <laughs> I feel a whole lot better now. Good. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Do you and Annie have any problems here? Problems? <laughs> Doesn't everybody? No, I mean as a lesbian couple. Ah. <laughs> I know I'm being awfully direct, so Okay. Listen, I'm not just being nosy. My soon-to-be ex-husband grew up in a town a lot like this one, and he finally came out of the closet. And ended the marriage. I met his dad at the wedding. Yeah, his family is not amused. I don't really think of myself as gay. I just love Annie. And folks see what they want to see. What do you mean? We don't kiss or hold hands in public, so folks can think what they want. They hear us damned on Sunday, and they like us fine the rest of the week. <laughs> what am I missing? Life, love, <laughs> the usual shit. <laughs> Just finished. Anywhere in the car? She said to call this afternoon. Feels good, right? Sweetness. I'll meet you back. We could even move into a small, small town. We can teach our kids the good things that we know. What can I get you, honey? Hi, can I please get an egg white omelet with seven grain bread and olive oil on the side? You want what, honey? Scrambled eggs and toast. Coffee? Cafe LA. Oh, what? Coffee with milk. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Megan! Hey. I just have a minute, but I wanted to give you a heads up. Uh oh, what happened? Nothing bad. Bob O'Connor saw your selfie and called to get your number. You left my firm late last year and opened up an office in South Carolina. Woman, does anyone ever stay at your firm? Oh, I did. Yeah, that's because you made partner by 30. True. Listen, he's had a thing for you since you got drunk at my Christmas party two years ago. I did not. Oh, yes, you did, senorita. I gave him your number. Bye. Wait, wait, what? Megan. Oh. Hello? Uh, do you want me to get you something to eat before I go out? What's wrong? 
That noise, I thought. What? It was one of those devices women use when... <laughs> a vibrator? Dad, I've been brushing my teeth twice a day and that's what you thought? <laughs> Any news on the car? Penny said it'll be ready tomorrow. Oh, I don't even want to think about what it's going to cost. I can give you money if you need it. No, Dad, thanks. You sure you're okay with being alone tonight? We're just gonna relax. Okay. Is, it's pretty good for Italian food in the South. I mean, it's not Little Italy, but it's okay. It's hard to ruin spaghetti and meatballs. That's true. How did you end up in South Carolina? I grew up here. Oh, sorry. Wow, you don't sound Southern. I'm Miss Jennifer. I do declare. Is that more of what you're looking for? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I was born in New York. My dad was working in the garment business, and he got transferred down here when I was eight. So you go both ways? <laughs> I guess I was just looking for a slower rhythm. And this town just fit. Yeah. Me too. Ready for a slower pace. I mean, did Megan tell you I'm moving to Florida? Yeah. She knew that I enjoyed our conversation. You made it clear that you had a husband. Well, we're definitely done. Well, that's great. I mean, I am so terribly sorry. Suddenly not all that hungry. There goes my deposit. I've seen you here before. No. I mean, yes. I'm here with my daughter on the way to Florida. We'll be here a couple of days. Welcome. I'm back. Thanks. I'm Dan. I hope you're enjoying Myrtle Beach. I like it a lot. Would you like to dance? I don't know. <laughs> Rock and roll is more my style. Me too. Might be fun. Let's give it a try. Yeah? Yeah.
you like to sit? No. Nothing wrong? Nothing, really. My dad just didn't get back to me. Yes, I'll hold. Jennifer! Beth, this is my daughter Jennifer. Oh, it is so nice to meet you. Likewise. Beth and I met at the Roadhouse. She told me how to country dance. I haven't had so much fun in years. Um, sure. Your dad is a natural. Beth is a math teacher, isn't that great? That crazy? That's wonderful. I'm sorry I didn't call, but we were having so much fun, I just lost all track of time. Beth, it's nice to meet you, but would you mind if I had a moment with my dad, please? Sure. Sh yes. Call me. You are not my boss. Like you were sitting up all night worrying. Yeah, well, at least I sent you a text message. You just didn't come home. I'm sorry, Dad. Did you hear me? I said I'm sorry. I heard you. I do think you should have called. All right, you'd want the same from me, but I shouldn't have yelled. You've been bugging me about dating, and I do, and now you have a fit. Dad, that wasn't a date. That wasn't getting out. That was a one-night stand. If I see her again, it won't be. I just wish you'd called. You too. I sent you a text message. I didn't get it. Because you left your cell phone here. 
Does everybody in this world have to have their cell phone in their face all the time? So? How was it with Beth? The good news is the car is ready. Hey, Joe. Joe. There go my performance ratings. We know it's not your fault. We don't have to stop in Savannah. Uh, yeah, we do. Even if it's just for a few hours. Buckle. Oh, you did. Well done, Dad. I hope you both use protection. Joe. You too, Dan. It's not just pregnancy you gotta worry about. You check out the pamphlet in your book. Sorry about the public service announcement. The Spanish moss is even creepier in person. I mean, not creepy in a bad way, but... Not like anything I've ever seen. Mom would have loved it. This is Sherman's headquarters, Green Meldrum Mansion. The owner offered the use of the house to Sherman. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. We've got time to walk a bit more. Need a drink. It's hot in here. Mm -hmm. Where's the bartender? What can uh, I get you? Whatever you've got on tap would be great, thanks. What's going on with you? Should have brought your mom here when she was alive. Thanks. Hey, beautiful. I got something better for you to do than drink with this old guy. Now you hear me? I'll take you down to Chinatown, girl. Mm. What the? You had that coming for a long time, Jimmy. Let's go. Hey, beautiful. Oh, I've always wanted to do that, but I can't believe I actually did. Careful, next one's liable to hit back. He called you old man. Yeah, I could have taken him. Have any more water? No. no, sorry, Dad. I forgot to refill it this morning. Lemonade. Oh, Dad. Pull over. Good morning. Uh, welcome to... Gourmet Lemonade, what can I get for you today? Aren't you a little old to be running a lemonade stand? Uh, well, sir, the economy is in a sustained downturn with limited upswing in employment, so I figured I would start my own business. I got an inspiration for this awesome startup, but with my student loans, this is all I could capitalize. How much for a small? Well, uh, these cups are all made from 100% recycled material. The lemons are organic, and I garnish each beverage with just a touch of mint and basil. How much? Well, that small is two seventy-five, but for just uh, one dollar more, you could get a large. Kind of expensive, but <laughs> okay, I'll take the large. Okay, great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 
this one up. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I actually, uh, I only have lids for the small cups. Why didn't you say so? Ah, uh, sorry. I'll tell you what. I'll take two small cups and split the large up into those and cover them. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually, I can't, I can't do that. Why not? It'll compromise my inventory control. But it's just you. What difference will it make? Sir, I have big plans for this business. I'm aiming for an IPO in a few years. Oh, I'm sorry. That's an accounting term. You wouldn't understand. I am an accountant. Look, I'll take a big sip out of the large uh, and pour the rest into the small. Uh, I'm sorry. That's way. that's just that's against the rules. I actually I can't do that. I hope you get audited. Start the car. Wait, stop. Oh, more. Hey. Half my age, he couldn't catch me. <laughs> you want some? It's great. No, you are not. You don't have to scatter your mom's ashes right away. Oh, no, we're doing that together, Dad. Do you want to drive straight through? Let's just take our time. from here the lost can still be found again in this land where time stands still I'm, going I'm really sorry this is taking so long take your time where are you from um queens nyc um uh, we moved here because uh, my parents thought that this might be a better place to run a motel Less competition, you know? <laughs> that was my dad. He talked like that. Oh, if you need an accountant. Dad, please relax. <laughs> oh, um, do you know what I really want to be? Um, not an accountant. Um, I kind of want to be a rapper. That's cool. I know. <laughs> um, <laughs> my parents don't really think so, though. <laughs> do you want to see? Okay. <clears throat> Three, two. One. Check it. My parents don't approve of my choice of career. I'll be good in the hood, but instead I'll be here. Jackson Heights is where I hail from, born and raised. I'm so proud of my roots, the ladies call my name Rajiv. And what? Nice. Thanks. Do you want to rap professionally? Yes. And I think um, that would be a viable career option. But um, I decided instead to be a good son and um, stay here and help my parents run the business. So. We got it. Okay. Here is your receipt. Great. And these are your keys. Shit, someone stole my car. I doubt that. What? Nobody would steal your car, honey. Then where the hell is it? Oh. It was parked right here. Here? Yes. We stayed right there. Ma'am, this area belongs to the other motel. The white sand spaces are over there. Your car was probably towed. You can call this number. My mother was in that car. You left your mother in the car overnight? No, 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 her ashes. We were scattering them in Florida. They were in a coffee can in the back seat. I'm sorry for your loss, folks. Let me see what I can do. Just give this to the guy at the tow lot and he'll have the car ready for you. Uh, $25, seriously? Yeah, we do take credit cards, ma'am. You sure the decimal point's not in the wrong place? Like. $250, 2500 Thank you.
Thank you. No worries, ma'am. I figured we'd go to the end of the pier and do it there, okay? Perfect. Thanks for finding this. Yeah. I spent an afternoon exploring when I came up for the interview. He texted again asking for her ashes. Can I help you folks? Uh, we were just, um... We were just scattering my wife's ashes off, so why is there a problem? That's not permitted on public land anywhere in the state of Florida. But they're biodegradable. It's the law. Make no mistake, I will give you a summons if I catch you doing that. Yes, sir. Now we want, sir. You are allowed to scatter ashes at sea. As long as it's three nautical miles out. Okay, thank you. Sorry for your loss. Well, that sucks. We have arrived. Yep. Looks nice. You have the key? It's depressing. You can always buy new furniture. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. I really appreciate you schlepping all the way down here with me. Now I can get a flight out of here. Uh, no, you're not. You're going to stay and help me scatter her ashes. Show me what you were wearing to this Florida fundraiser. What? You really want to see? Okay. Huh. Totally sure about this dress. You look perfect. Thanks, Dad. Try this on. It's mom shawl. Got it at a flea market. <laughs> okay, Joe. Just a short drive today, and with a little luck, this will be our daily commute. All of my St. Petersburg maps have been updated to ensure the best possible routes and detours. I recommend keeping a bathing suit in the trunk of the car. You never know when a beach opportunity might show up. And you look great in a bathing suit, Jeff. Uh, Joe, thanks for getting us here safely. You did great. Oh, you're welcome. And, uh, you know, Dan, I'm actually gonna miss you. Jennifer, I am so sorry to keep you waiting. Oh. It's great to see you. You too. Dad, this is my new boss, Tom McKinnon. He's the director of the theater. Dan Giraldi, great to meet you. Mm. It's good to meet you too. Nice theater. You know, it was built in 1921.
hundred productions since then. I'm done with acting. Do you know anyone who can rent us a boat to take us out three nautical miles? a moment with her? We could have spent more time together, Mom. <laughs> I think we're a lot more alike than we ever knew. I love you. my favorite hotshot lawyer. Hi, Mr. G. I'm good. How's Jen doing? She's okay. A little nervous, but her boss is a great guy, and the weather is wonderful. I bought a plane ticket to visit her in January. You're a good friend. Uh, she'd do the same for me. She's done more than that. You doing okay? Yeah. I wasn't, but now I am. Glad. Take care. You too. Okay, bye. You know, it's usually the older folks that move down here from Jersey. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Your daughter moves down here and not you? I guess so. Hey, slow down just a little. You ever been in there? Yeah, my sister lives there. Nice. Beautiful. It's right on the bay. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> There's a lot of women in there. You know, divorced, widowed, most of them. There's not a lot of men. Special police officer Jimmy Beaver. <laughs> Jimmy Beaver to Beaver Jr. Come in, Beaver Jr. I'd like a chocolate malt and a small fries, please. Thank you. Oh, I love her. 
And if they love you, they come back. She's not coming back. This man is the most attractive man I've ever seen. I got nothing. I got nothing. <laughs> nothing. Who wants a ticket? No worries. I don't have any worries about anything. Down the road. Tracking me 